rebels to die and make inroads in Nyanza. And that is... Guru, Mr. President, our work is... Come to understand that we are in politics. And politics goes with numbers. Everybody needs numbers. And it calls for resources as well. You can't continue dying. You can't continue dying. Lazim uangalie venye utajiondoa kwenye nini? Kaburi. Really? So for that reasons, people from Nyanza, the reality is, atuna mutu wakufuata, lazim watufuata serikali. Atuna baki kwenye misitu, sazile wengine wanaona muangaza. So as people from Nyanza, atuwezi zidi kufa, na tusha chinjo already. Lazim watuondoe, watu wetu, tujiondoe sisi, kwenye hiyo kamba na tujiweke mahali ambapo tunaweza zingatia mamlaka na ile maisha ya karne asante sisi kama tulio nyanza tunataka maendeleo miaka mingi tumekuwa tukiteseka kwa nini tuko upinzani so siasa iliisha tunataka maendeleo wakati siasa ikifika tutajipanga kama watu walio kwa kwa saa hii tunataka maendeleo kama maendeleo tutatoka kwa serikali si tuko ndani because watu wetu ambao walitupatia hizo hizo uongozi wanatuuliza mlitufanyia nini na tukikaa kando tunawajibu nini so wakati huu ni wakati wa maendeleo but us as residents there tunataka hizo constituencies zikuwe divided because tuko wengi sana ukichukua 140 million which is given across all constituencies na upatie ndhiwa na 100,000 voters then you give it for example to Garissa town which has got around 16,000 voters you realize that in northern frontier counties or constituencies an MP is, is able to give bursary almost 50,000 per student. Nandiwa, you cannot, you cannot go beyond 3,000. You see? And this thing, some people can take it lying low. But over the years, almost 20 years is when they will know the effect of that mistake. We need those things. We need our children and our people to be equitably distributed in terms of resource allocation so that they also benefit. And therefore, us, we support the division of constituencies even much further in their constituency. But on counties, I don't agree with the dividing counties because the, the underlying push to divide counties is tribal rhetorics. That us, as uh, let's say tribe X, we are in another bigger tribe in one county. We don't feel represented, so we need our own counties. Then we love so many counties in this country. Even Nairobi here, wale wajaluo wa warwaraka, watasema tasisi, tunataka basikwe county in Nairobi. It is not possible. The counties we have are enough. We just need our leaders to work. But for the, for the representation and equal distribution of resources, our constituencies need to be divided further. I think the biggest problem we have is not even about having more counties because is it really tenable? I think um, uh, the bipartisan committee received reports uh, or delegations that call for s such divisions. So we are looking at about uh, additional 10 to 12 more counties that people are proposing to have. Uh, is it financially viable? Those are things that we are looking at. But I think the conversation should not be even about more of dividing, getting more counties, but how do we devolve the resources we have further? So for the resources that are coming in Migori, for example, uh, if, we are, if, we have, um, uh, if we have 4 billion shillings in a year, for example, how, how much is going to Korea? Korea then deserves probably a billion shillings. And then you put a mechanism where they can manage their 1 billion without having to think about having another county because it's about resources. So do we talk about boundaries in terms of um, uh, resources or in terms of just pride and name? I think resources matter more. So I think our governors currently should devolve further what they have.